Hi everybody, this is Rick from Studio Spades and today I'm going to show you a updated version of the Exploded View tutorial I made for version 1. Um, since we're in version 2.2 right now, I thought it would be nice to make an update. So let's start off by dragging in the Exploder tool, making sure that everything is centered out by Shift S, selection the cursor, press M, new collection, call it something like Exploder tool or ET, and make sure um, it's in a collection. And let's add a model to explode. You need a model with lots of meshes. So I got this oil rig off of um, a website. I'll put the, the link in the comments later. Now let's import it. And uh, we have a nice oil rig 3D model with lots of meshes, very cool. And first off, we wanna start off by applying all the transforms. Um, so that everything is a bit um, yeah, cleaned out and no things are uh, scaling weird. And let's put that in the collection as well. So M, new collection, oil rig, the name doesn't really matter. And I want to delete all the empties because we don't need those and there's lots of them and they might uh, mess things up. So select all by type, select all empties in the scene and make sure you deselect all the empties that come with Exploder tool, of course, because you need those. So now we have all the empties selected here. Delete. And now we have all individual meshes here. <clears throat> but we have a new problem because we need location data because Exploder tool works by uh, multiplying all the location data, but we applied all the transforms. So the location data for all objects is zero, zero, zero right now, but we can get the data back. Let's make sure we um, select all the meshes and center the mesh out a bit and press set origin, origin to center of mass. And then boom, we get all those dots back. And those are the center points of all individual meshes. So when I try to rotate it, you'll see it rota rotate around that orange yellow dot here. We need those for all objects of the, the model. Let me switch to a matcap here so we can see a bit more clearly um, how many meshes there are, which is quite a lot. Pretty cool. It's a really nice model. And uh, another thing you would want to do uh, for a performance boost is not have the, modif uh, the Explorer tool window open here, the geometry nose window. Why? Because we have to render a lot of cables, as you can see, and that will impact your uh, performance quite significant significantly. So make sure you put it to something simple like a UV editor for something, or, or, sort of, or even remove the entire window. We can do that, of course. Maybe combine it with the timeline here. And we have uh, one window. Switch it to timeline, of course. And um, yeah, that'll uh, definitely save you some uh, uh, rendering power. So, since Explorer tool works with um, collections, we can hide the oil rig collection. And then we go to the modifier window of Explorer tool and load it back in. And then boom, we have the model back. And we can pin the window here so it won't disappear even if we select different things. It'll uh, keep this window intact. All right, so uh, Exploded Views, they have moved to Location Scale Rotate here. This uh, handles uh, Location Scale and Rotate data. So the Exploded View, but also uh, the moving of objects is done here. And um, yeah, you can see that when I try to move it, it's actually pretty slow. Now, why is that? Um, we have a couple of things activated here, a couple of modifiers. And um, the noise one in this case and loop one on the polygon level can be disabled because we're still using instances. And these modifiers are split up. You can uh, disable, disable or enable them all here. And when they're split up, they're usually split up in instance level and polygon level um, modifiers. <clears throat> Since we're using instances, we only need to enable the instance one. 
and I want to demonstrate only the noise modifier, so uh, we only have to enable that one for now. If you're not using it, it's best to disable it here because it will uh, also cost you um, CPU performance or even GPU performance in some cases. So under performance settings, disable everything you're not using. So explode view, also this is disabled. We can enable it. And since explode is set to 555, it already exploded outward, but we can uh, reset it back to zero. And you can uh, start sliding it yourself. And then this seems to be way quicker than uh, a few minutes ago. And if I enable the noise modifier again, on polygon level and then try to slide the explode um, the explode section here you see it's quite less fast so uh, yeah definitely keep things disabled if you're not using them for a big performance boost so that's how you create the uh, explode views in uh, the newer version Let's set it back to zero and um, maybe two on the x-axis for now. Uh, maybe put it to one. Um, you can also see quite some added, uh, uh, quite a lot of added checkboxes here. Um, these can enable or disable certain effects or even certain uh, layers. Um, yeah, based on you ch checking or unchecking them. Now we have a base mesh, text, pool, curve effects, etc. Um, <clears throat> these are all corresponding to the things you see here. You have base mesh, text, curve. If I were to add some text into uh, Explorer tool in a text generator, which I have not done, then I, and I would like to explode that, I can check it here, and then the text would get an explode view as well. We're not using it, but it's not really um, that much of a performance boost if I disable it. So for now, I'll uh, leave this disabled. Um, but this right here, original objects, that cor corresponds to whatever we're feeding into Exploder Tool. In this case, the old rig. <clears throat> um, so if you uncheck or check that, you can see the Exploder View will get activated. If I uncheck it and I check layer one it also does it so what's the difference well um layer one to six you can split it up in, into these layers here so let's say i add a collection on rig two and i move some parts from this folder the collection folder um I, oh, that's going to be long scrolling, right? Yeah. Let's take some from the bottom. Slide them into the second folder. Boom. And then close that. And hide it, of course. You can see some objects disappear because we have not fed them into Explorer 2. So now they're back. <clears throat> and that's basically the um, difference between these checkboxes here. I can now uncheck and check it in two layers. So that's what the layer system is for. And original objects is basically layer one to six all combined. I hope that's uh, clear for you. So you can, uh, yeah, split it up into uh, separate layers. So maybe you would only want to have these uh, cylinders here explode upward, put them in a separate layer, and then check that specific layer so only those objects will uh, get exploded out. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. You can uh, split things through uh, multiple collections. And of course, what you can also do with Explorer tool is um, add falloffs to it. So we'll have the linear falloff here and enable it for the exploded view and then go to the linear falloff. We have it selected here. 
press uh, G to move it and then you can see it explode outward in a linear uh, way pretty cool and this linear fall off can also be rotated so you're not uh, constrained to the axis um, of which so it's not constrained to the axis um, at which it gets imported imported it can uh, yeah do this in every direction and that's how the new version of Exploded 2 works I got some questions about uh, making Exploded views in the newer version so I thought I'd uh, update the tutorial and um, yeah if you want to learn more there are lots of videos on my YouTube channel of course about this product but this um, should help you get started I hope you enjoyed it and take care